and welcome back to my channel today I decided to do something a little bit more affordable and something sultry you know a little sexy and did I say this was gonna be affordable yeah this is gonna be affordable it's gonna be a talk through ooh and yeah we're gonna we're gonna just slide up in it we're gonna go into the video we gonna go into the video so using my NYX eyebrow gel and espresso, I'm going to just fill in my brows. Nothing major. You guys probably see me do this a thousand times. So yeah, I start at the bottom first and then I'm slowly working my way up to the top. And then I also go in with my Fergie Center Stage Collection in the brown shade and just darken my brows with that brush and also comb the hairs through as well. Once I'm doing that, we're about to carve out my eyebrows using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Calf just so I can get them nice and sharp. And then I also take this along the bottom in the top as well. Priming my eyes with the Milani eyeshadow primer and then I'm going to set that with my Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder as well. Then starting off with the eye, I'm going into my NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette and I'm starting off with this orange shade on a Wet n Wild yeah, crease look brush. This is really going to be super simple and don't even forget to drag it further down just because when I do my concealer, I'm going to like put it like super, super close. So I'm basically putting this in my upper crease and my lower crease. I'm only probably using like two to three colors for this look. Something super simple. I take my BH Cosmetic Blending Brush and just blending out those edges, making sure everything's nice and seamless. Then I do go back into that Warm Neutral Palette and I take that Burgundy shade on a Santa Fe brush and I start placing that in my crease just so when I place that color on my lid, it's not harsh or anything. I just want this look to be really seamless. So a way to do that is to start by putting it into your crease first and just building up that color. So when you place it on the lid, everything just flows together. So basically I'm just taking my time building that up into my crease and I decide to look up so I can really see my crease and really focus that color in there. And then I also do go back into my Wet n Wild crease brush with no product from the first transition shade and blend out any harsh edges as well. So I get like the desired smokiness from me adding this color. I finally take my MAC 239 in that same burgundy shade and just pack that onto the lid. But first I do carve out my lid so it can be more opaque with the Maybelline Better Skin. And you guys, like, it does something for the look. Like, I tried it without it, and it was just not opaque. I do this, and, like, oh, my gosh, it pops so well. You guys, look how pretty that color looks. And I packed this onto the lid and a little bit into the crease as well. Once I've done patting that onto my lid, I do take the same brush that I used to put the burgundy into the crease and just blend out those edges as well. It just looks so nice. I really love the way this look turned out. And then I just go in with that first transition shade and just blend anything else out, making sure everything's nice and seamless. Then you You already know, tried and true, taking my Black Radiant True Complexion Primer, putting that all over my face and prepping my skin for my foundation. For, for my foundation, I do use the L'Oreal Infallible and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Then I start to blend this in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender Girl.
I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and then going over that with the medium beige. And then I also continue to blend that out with the Real Technique sponge. Then I set my face with the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. You know the deal. To my face with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I just take that on my forehead, my cheeks, and I think a little bit on my neck. And then once I'm done blending it out with my It um, foundation brush or angled foundation brush, I'm going to be setting that with the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Rich Mahogany. And then I just further sculpt my face on it because I'm trying to look snatch, girl, snatched. And then I also cleaned up that contour just because it was a little difficult for me starting cream contouring again with the powder that I used to set my highlighted areas with. As and then I start with that first transition shade underneath my eye and then I go in with that burgundy shade as well. Light line and very black and I try to put this on my waterline and a little bit below as well because in the end I will be smudging out this black liner and also setting it with a black eyeshadow as well. And then off camera, I did some lashes, put us obviously put some mascara on, and then I also did um, tight line my eye with with some black liner at the top. And now I'm just setting that black eyeshadow away from my Fergie collection. Um, Sister Sage palette. There's a black eyeshadow in there. Next is black radiance blush, and I'm just gonna put some blush on. I really thought it complemented to look. It's like this very it's like this very berry color, but please be careful because a little bit does go a long way. Probably with my Ruby Kisses Bronze Glow Highlighter. And I'm just going to highlight my cheeks, my cupid's bow, nose, um, chin, forehead, and... So go in with a second highlighter because you know if you don't have two highlighters you're not popping. I go in with the Makeup Revolution and the first white shade and the second bronzy shade. And I just go over the same areas that have already previous illuminated my face with. And I also put that on my brow bone as well and also in my inner tear duct just for a nice little glow. Then I'm taking this Ruby Kisses lip liner and just aligning my lips. You guys, I actually really love this lip liner. And I finally got my hands on the new ColourPop um, lips, lip glosses. So I will be taking WeHo if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm going to be taking another lipstick color that I just don't know off the top of my head. But it's like really sparkly. But I love this lip combo, y'all. Everybody was like, Dang, your lips are popping. And you guys also do set my face with the NYX um, matte um, finishing spray.
enjoyed this tutorial from me just as much as I enjoyed filming it for you guys. This is my second fall, my second fall look that I have done for you guys. There will be a tutorial up on how I achieved this hair that I have on my head right now. Leave a comment. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and always inspire beauty. And another thing that I want to say, I did say that I was going to apply um, bottom mascara, but I didn't. I just left it. So, yeah. Whatever. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. I'm